Supreme Court declares Boston City Hall must fly Christian flag. On May 2nd, the United States unanimously ruled that the city of Boston had violated the First Amendment rights of a Christian nationalist group when they rejected its request to fly a Christian flag at the city hall building. The issue started when they denied the group known as Camp Constitution's request to fly a Christian flag after approving the application of 284 other groups, which included mostly foreign nations and a pride flag. Um, Matt Staver, an attorney at Liberty Council representing Camp Constitution, said the government cannot censor religious viewpoints under the guise of government speech. Boston stopped its flag raising program in October last year to prevent the city from proclaiming, quote, messages antithetical to its own. City officials stated that they felt approving Camp Constitution's request would violate the First Amendment's ban on religion, it, on government endorsement of a particular religion. Rachel Laser, a senior president and CEO of Americans United for Separation of Church and State, expressed that the decision could undermine church-state separation. Laser also pointed out the alarming aspects of Camp Constitution, which teaches historical inaccuracies, such as America was founded as a Christian nation. In response to the Supreme Court's decision, the Satanic at Temple recently announced their plan to apply to the city of Boston to fly a fl Satanic flag at the government offices. Based. Um, okay, I don't understand how this happened. Like, and can you explain it a little bit more what, why this was allowed? Another allowed is mandated? Can you explain Well, that? basically, it. So yeah, according to the policies of Boston, oh, um, they cut. have to fly this kind of flag. Okay, okay. Can but how is this? Yes, yeah, yes. But how is this not a violation of uh, church-state separation? Okay. Um, the city's quote. Wait, here we go. Yeah, the city's lack of meaningful involvement in the selection of flags or the crafting of their private messages lead us to classify the flag raisings as private, not government speech. We consider Boston, we consider whether Boston's refusal to allow Camp Constitution to raise their flag amounted to uh, impermissible viewpoint discrimination. Okay. So, so they're even basically if it's saying that because the based on the policy and the language of the city's um, flag raising policy, like they didn't have an involvement in the selecting of the flags or crafting their message. Like you could apply to fly a flag, and they would approve. They they would fly the flag. They would approve you. But the fact that this is a flag that they refused when they had previously basically had yeah, like okay. not much involvement. So it's discrimination because because it's not the government right in raising it. It's it the is people, the government if... raising it, but it's they're not in like meaningful involved in the mm. because okay because what the government it? is not deciding what is the flag that is being raised. They're raising it, but they're not deciding what the flag is that is being raised. By not approving the flag, they were discriminating against Christians. Right, so it's not so that's what the argument is. All right, so great. So that means that the satanic temple flag should be raised then based on this, based on these arguments. Yes. That's fantastic. Okay, good. One thing that confused me and can we honestly can we apply for atheist republic flag to be raised? Can we go um, apply? We might have to be residents of Boston. I don't know, Damn. but if we can, then we should definitely try. That's we could talk point, to our actually. Boston consulate. That's true. Holy crap, we can do this. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> um, so this is one of these cases where honestly, like the oh, yeah, legal definitions of like this private speech versus the the government speech, frankly, confuses me. So th there's a lot about how this decision came down that doesn't necessarily make sense to me, and is an issue over like I can't tell if this is a legitimate violation of secularism or if this is actually a good ruling in regards to 
protection of free amendment rights, first amendment rights. Um, based on the way it went down, like I could see it both ways. Um, so yeah, just in full transparency, like this is one thing that does confuse me. Um, but Justice Breyer noted that since the court's decision was based on the technicality of how the city created its flag raising policy, the city can just change its policies to ex exclude private speech. And then they don't have to mm. like continue to fly flags of this nature. Oh shit. We should, we should do this fast then. <laughs> um, yeah, forever yeah. storm is saying we should apply to fly the atheist republic flag. Yeah, exactly. we can find That's a way. Right. We can find a way. We now yeah. now we have to make an atheist republic flag. Well, probably it's like easy. a big have... one too. If it has to go on top of a government building. Yeah, that would be that would be so based. That'd be um, so but... cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, secular Sakai is saying BS. It's still government property. It's just hypocritical. Oh, you got cut. States Go back. Amendments memorialized in their capital. Read that again. You got cut. Oh, Secular Sky is saying BS. It's still government property. It's just as hypocritical as those states that have the Ten Commandments memorialized in their capitals. Yeah. No, that's very true. And then now we get to have the Satanic Temple come rolling through and be like, "This is this is what the Satanic Temple does." They're like. We heard you allowed religion here. <laughs> Shall amazing. I invite you to our Lord and Savior Satan? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that that you should make that, that should be clipped. Okay, that sound is a perfect summary of the entirety of the purpose of the Satanic Temple. That knocking sound, and we 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 heard that you allow religion here. That is the best summary ever. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is secular Sakai is saying this is this. Yeah, we should just put the emoji <laughs> on the flag. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Just fly be... the emojis. Yeah. Um well here's yeah, a we... here's the application, by the way. Yeah, no, go to the tweet. So the Satanic oh. Temple tweeted, the Satanic Temple replies to the Supreme Court ruling that found Boston violated the First Amendment rights by refusing to fly a Christian flag at City Hall Plaza. And so, and then there's a picture attached and the picture is that their reply is that they're putting in an application to fly the satanic flag at okay, so Boston City Hall. Now you, you can see that now you see where we can fly, uh, file the application ourselves as well. So let's go and join them. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Now the satanic flag hasn't been revealed yet. But I, I I read that it it might be a like black and white American flag, except instead of all the stars, there's just you know like the Baphomet pentagram. Oh my God! Fantastic, beautiful, love. That'd it. be if if they do fly this above Boston City Hall. How freaking metal is that? Like that cool. you're flying Baphomet from the government building. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know. Oh my gosh, that's literally a Christian, like QAnon person's worst nightmare. They're like, yeah. America really is ending. Like, is it? Over. Wait, is it? Is it actually the worst nightmare? I think it's their dream come true. Because well, they're it validates their delusions. Because it validates the, the satanization. I just made up a word of America. The satanization. Of America, like yeah. That. By by the way, QAnon, you could. I just invented the word. You could use that. Um, that actually, that sounds pretty cool. Actually, now that I think about it, um, satanize, satanize this. Yeah, like wow, I made a verb. That's fantastic. That's beautiful. I made a <laughs> verb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed with myself. Okay, um, I think here I, in Atheist Republic, we can we can. It, it completely unanimously agree in promoting the satanization of America. Satanization of anything, to be honest. Yes, actually. <laughs> Any, anything satanized is better. Uh, it's an improvement. Um, cool. Can we... Thank you, so... Oh yeah, blank team is also saying technically the First Amendment doesn't state the separation of church and state. It just says respect uh, respecting an establishment of religion. Yes, but 
even but based on the interpretation of the founding fathers themselves you could you have it on record that that their interpretation is a separation of church and state so you don't even have to find your like do gymnastic arguments to come up with the interpretation because they have it on record that that is their interpretation hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook and let me tell you it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below